Jackson again. <sighs> Unbelievable. This white lady was pushing her buggy down the road, right? I'm thinking, let's get a better look at this. Let me get a look-see here. Let me deal with it, man. <laughs> and then the sign appears. It's around the buggy. She holds it up by a string. We'll work for food. So, you bet. I pulled over and said, do you really want to work for food? Why, well, yes, ma'am, I do. And I'm thinking, the heck you say? I said, well, I have a little job for you. You can come on down to Raymond and we'd eat my yard. You might not want to do that without a cap in your butt. But I did. He said, we'll work for food. So, I challenged her to, we'll work for food. Maybe come over here and use my weed eater and, uh, the gas of half and half and come to a job and let me give you a reward. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's not what she wanted at all. Per usual. We work for food. No. No, they won't. <laughs> Stupid. I said, well, I know what I'm going to do is do the right thing. Went down and bought her some food and brought it back. I said, ma'am, are you sure that you will work for food? Well, let's take a look. See, let's walk up and down this road together. Yes, I did. Her food was in the car. And don't forget, she was a white lady. I don't care what color you are. Uh, I brought her food back and parked my Mississippi metronome in danger zone of Jackson. You better believe I did. I wanted to see what's been going on down there. This is like you come down 80 and turn by the KFC and go down to that planet fitness. Needless to say, we didn't make it to PF by dumb Jackson. You can't even get to the roads. Last time I went to that one, a car had driven itself through the entire window. Now that's the capital you need to have, Capital One card lovers. I'm not afraid of these fruit cards. No. I hope the little lady's packing a gun, though, so she can stay safe. <laughs>